What is going on everyone? My name is Size, and welcome back to another PAL World Guide video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get two really powerful uh, PALs early on in the game, specifically Anubis and Ozark. Now throughout this video, I will kind of explain on how we can achieve this by doing the breeding system to get these guys as early on as level 17, and having access to these two types of PALs really early on is going to make it a really easy to go through the boss towers and kind of breeze through those early levels. Now before we get into the guide, I just want to say real quick that I do have a community discord going up and I'm thinking about starting a community server. So if any of you guys are interested in doing that, go ahead and join the discord down below to get all updated uh, information and alerts when that goes live. With that being said, let's get straight into the guide. The first power we're going to talk about is Anubis. Now the two powers you're actually going to need to breed together to get Anubis is the first one's going to be Vanworm and the other one is going to be as Robe. Now where can you find Vanworm? Basically you can find Vanworm near the sealed realm of the Swordmaster. Basically all of this area you can find them in. So I just spent about five minutes looking for a Vanworm and here we have one. So just go ahead and hit it a few times and then go ahead and capture it. So there we go. I just hit it a few times through a Pokebot and we got it. Now the other option you can also do to get a Vanworm is simply by hatching Scorching Eggs as they are a common draw from that and you'll have a pretty good chance of getting them actually from the eggs as well. And to get a Zorb, you're going to go to the Ravine entrance. She's going to be basically right on the lake here. It's going to be a level 17 boss like I said. Basically just go to the lake and keep searching around in it until you actually find her. Then from there, basically do the same thing you did with the Vanworm. Hit it a few times until you get a low enough to capture, and go ahead and capture that. Now after you catch your Ozorb, you can go back to base, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you the two powers you're going to need for Ozark, and then I'll go over the breeding process. Now the first power we're going to need for Ozark is the Relaxosaurus. Now basically where you can find Relaxosaurus is the Aesthetic Falls. I just spawned in here and I'm already getting attacked by two. Just go ahead and capture those, and we can move on to the next pal that we are going to need for Ozark. Once we go ahead and capture a Relaxosaurus, we can move on to the next pal. And the last pal you're going to need for Ozark is a Grizzbolt. This one is a little bit annoying because the only place you can get and actually farm him is at the island at the bottom right of the map, basically. So you're going to have to go across the waters to get there, but basically you just keep farming him uh, going left to right and you'll eventually find him. Here I am at the bottom of the island. Basically, I was just running up and down it until I got a Grizzbolt to spawn. And in front of me, you can see we did get one to spawn here. All we're going to do is just damage it like all the other pals until it gets low enough to where we can go ahead and capture it. Now, as we can see here, we got it low enough. We're just going to go ahead and cap it. From there, we will go ahead and capture this, and now we are good to go back to breed for Ozark. Once you want to start to breed them, just go ahead and make sure they are in your pals at base. Go ahead and grab one of them to throw into the actual pen. Here we'll start with the robe. Go ahead and throw her in here. You'll see it'll say starting to work. Once that goes on, go ahead and throw the male or female, whatever one you don't have in. Quick tip while we're getting the Vanworm is that the passive skills on both of your parents will most likely get imprinted on your, uh, what do you call it, baby or egg that you make once they are done breeding. So having bad passive skills is going to usually get bad skills to the egg. So you just want to try to have good passive skills to breed on to the baby. So keep that in mind when breeding. They're absolutely amazing early levels. You can pretty much get this like I had 17 um, and it's so easy to actually breed them once you get 
the pen set up and you get both male and female counterparts to actually breed these guys and once you get them up they will be shredding through the early levels like nothing i hope you guys did find the video helpful and if you did if you could consider hitting that like and subscribe button it really lets me know you guys are enjoying this type of content they keep making more videos and guides on the game and it really helps with the youtube algorithm i hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night depending on when you're watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace